Hello, welcome and thank you for tuning in. My name is Coach Pav and today I'm gonna to be discussing something which I'm really passionate about and that is how your gut health will improve your cycling performance. So gut health uh, in, in, rea in relation to the rest of the body is actually something that we know quite little about. Um, although we're discovering uh, new you know, stuff about the, the gut, new every day almost, uh, we still don't really know exactly what a healthy gut microbiome should look like uh, and how actually to support that. Um, and that's something that actually is quite interesting to me. Um, when you really think about it, um, the gut is you know, the, the place in which all of your nutrients that are gonna support your, you know, your recovery and your energy are absorbed. Uh, and it, if that's an unhealthy uh, area, um, then you can obviously see uh, that actually you might not be uh, ingesting, or you might be ingesting, but you might not be uh, digesting uh, uh, quite enough of the, the nutrients and the, the macronutrients and the micronutrients, which are actually gonna support your training. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take you through um, why that's really important and give you some top tips around how to improve that, uh, even if you know, we haven't quite got that scientific proof yet. So I think one of the most fascinating parts about our gut health is how different or diverse they can be from person to person. Now we know genetically our DNA is 99.9% .9 identical uh, between me and you, uh, but our gut microbiome, um, the, the little microorganisms that live within our GI, uh, gastrointestinal or GI tract uh, are only around about 15% the same. Um, and so you can see actually how difficult it would be uh, to potentially personalize a, a strategy to, to improve in that. Uh, and that's, that's if we don't even really know what a healthy gut microbiome should look like. Um, but we could, as I said, we can make some assumptions around this um, and it won't be surprising to you to know that the number one way in which you can actually influence your gut microbiome and potentially make it healthy is through your diet. So what we do know is that the gut microbiome is very vastly different between people that live in different locations around the globe um, and what their diet looks like. Again, it's probably not that surprising to you to hear that the gut microbiome of someone on maybe a Mediterranean diet uh, versus someone on a Western diet is completely different. Um, that's not to say uh, that necessarily uh, one is healthier than the other, although if we look at the health complications that typically associated between those two, we can start to assume that actually one probably has a slightly better and healthier gut microbiome too. Uh, while we await that scientific proof, that does give us an idea around actually if you do want to ensure that your gut is healthy enough to support your cycling performance, then actually eating healthy is going to be crucial. Um, what we can also say is that supplements don't necessarily work. Now these supplements are mainly probiotics and it's no surprise really that probiotics have flourished uh, in, the, in, the, in this industry, in the, in the nutrition industry, just because of the promises uh, around how much better you can feel. But we, we know that they only work in about 50% of people and that is, it's very hard to tell um, unless you're in a lab. So if you've got access to a lab and the funds and resources to do that, then that might be something for you. But for the rest of us, maybe trial and error is actually better. And that's not to say that you shouldn't try probiotics and keep a note about what that, what the, any results that you have, but that actually half of the people, it's not gonna affect at all. And there's plenty of natural ways in which you can go about improving your gut microbiome. Something that we do know, uh, or rather that what we should be avoiding, is repeated use of antibiotics. Now, of course, if you've got something that needs to be treated with them, you should be doing it. <laughs> but what we want to try and avoid is a situation where you have to have repeated bouts of antibiotics, uh, because what that does is it pretty much clears out your stomach uh, of everything, or your GI tract, of all of the bacteria, not just the harmful ones, but all of the good ones too. Now, of course, if you've got uh, an infection that needs this in your blood or wherever it is, um, then yes, of course, that the, 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 mean, the means are necessary. Uh, you know, the, the result of that is completely necessary. 
necessary. But when you consistently or constantly are, are flushing your gut through and emptying it out, uh, it can actually create uh, problems for the healthy bacteria. Um, and, and you know it can be difficult for them to start supporting your uh, you know their digestion and that's when the harmful bacteria can start to take hold in your gut and obviously we don't want this so if you've been a follower of my insta story over the last few months you'll probably have noticed just how much of an emphasis i place on uh, fermented foods now there's a very good reason for this in that fermented foods are full of really good bacteria and when you eat them it helps support your stomach now you could uh, be looking at stuff like sauerkraut which is just fermented cabbage and with spices you could put anything pretty much in there uh, kombucha which is a fermented tea pretty much anything lacto fermented is going to work um, you can also look at fatty foods which are great for your stomach too now that can be fatty oily fish or if you're a vegan or vegetarian you might be looking at nuts and seeds and talking about vegetables again if you follow any of my uh, or much of my uh, nutrition advice you'll know how much I place uh, I love plants uh, and the role they play in you know nutrition and athletic performance and it won't be a surprise for you to know that fibrous plants are going to be really good for your digestive system so there's some really top foods that you can start to eat uh, in order to see if you get a reaction now it's going to be really important to note that the first reaction you might get to eating some of these is gas and maybe a bit of loose stool now that's not a problem that's just your gut adapting to it and if you can if you constantly see this maybe you need to eat a little bit less lots of people who first start drinking kombucha notice this and people who regularly eat sauerkraut will tell you that too um, you just need to maybe eat a little bit less you really don't need to eat a lot of these per day to start to see uh, positive uh, improvements in your gut which might present itself as more energetic throughout the day and stuff like that so there's two, uh, two relationships between things that you can do and how your gut performs, which are actually completely symbiotic. Uh, and by that, I mean that if you do the, uh, do the thing I'm gonna suggest, your gut will actually, uh, Im health will improve, and thus actually help the thing that you did in the first place. Now, the first one is hydration. Now, it won't, again, it won't be a, a, a surprise to you to think that your gut probably isn't performing best when you're dehydrated, because your body isn't. Um, so making sure that you're actually hydrated adequately throughout the day, and especially when training, is crucial. In return for being hydrated, what your gut will do is absorb the electrolytes that you're feeding it more efficiently. So as you can see, as long as you continue to make sure that you're hydrated adequately, the more efficient it runs. Now the same is said for sleep. The better your gut health is, the better your sleep. But one of the key ways in order to be able to improve your gut health in the first place is ensuring you get enough sleep. So what you'll find is that once you get into the rhythm of getting quality sleep every night, you'll actually be able to get into that rhythm easier because your gut is healthier. Now, one of, the, one of the things I talk about a lot with my clients, I work with them really individually on this, but I also reference it a lot in my content, is, is the role stress plays in, in destroying your cycling performance. And the same can be said with your gut health. Now, I'm gonna let you think about a time where you've been in a stressful situation and had an adverse gut reaction. Now, this could be, you know, something as uh, as bad as, you know, soiling yourself running, uh, or maybe you've actually turned up to an event and you've, you know, suddenly need to use the bathroom more. Now, this is just a reaction that you're getting to that stressful situation. And, and it's perfectly natural, but it also does well to demonstrate that our guts don't actually work that well in a stressful environment. So it's, it stands in good reason to actually spend a little bit of time uh, de-stressing or relaxing um, throughout your day. Now that can be as simple as taking a walk, a long bath, meditating, having some mindfulness practice, taking five to 10 minutes just away from the stress of everything in order to relax. And it, it's one of those things where you might not see instant response, but over a long period of time, the more relaxed you are, the more better or more efficiently your body will perform. And it's really as simple as that. <laughs> simple. Um, and that's all it is. That's it. Um, so thank you. I love talking about this topic. So if you do have a question, um, please do feel free to reach out. And if you're on my YouTube channel, definitely leave me a, a comment as to what you do um, that is, uh, uh, you know, your number one way in which uh, you, you treat your gut or help your gut if you've got any tips for us, especially if I've not covered it. Um, as ever, 
you'll be able to find more resources on my website or linked in the, in the description of the video if you're on YouTube. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure that you share it with your friends. Leave me a, a comment or a thumbs up. <laughs> um, and once again, thank you so much. My name is Coach Pav. Have an awesome day.